Right guys, if you saw the last video, you saw that I showed you how to roll mortar, spread mortar and then we made this brick ready to go. So now what we're going to be doing from here is we will be levelling, gauging and plumbing to make sure this brick is right before we move on. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we're level. So we'll place our level on the top of the brick. I like to make three points of contact. So first finger, set thumb and then I've got a brick a finger on the brick behind the level just to maintain contact because I'm about to tap the front we don't want the brick tilting either way so the bubble is not quite in the middle it's more towards the right hand side so we're going to look at tapping the front edge of the brick to bring it down so it's then level so that's now level Scrape any excess off, so chop it like a knife again, and we've got our excess off. Right, we're now going to look at gauging. So gauge is uh, the mid, the height that a brick, that brick should be. So in this case, the first brick should always be 75 millimeters from the floor. So 75. If I check that with my tape, just use my child just to make sure, and we are exactly 75 millimeters. So I know I've gauged at this point, this will always be my gauge point. So when, it, when I finish the first course of bricks and I lay the second course, I will come back to this corner here and I will gauge from that point again. If I maintain from this point, I should get a perfect gauge if I maintain my gauge. So we should have a 10 millimeter bed. The brick is 65 millimeters, which is why we have 75 mil. Now, depending if you're working on a refurbishment project or something like that, you may find that you can't maintain 10 millimeter joints. It may mean that you have to go to the joints that are already on the way. This is the ideal joint for all brickwork. But we will look at, in future videos, how we can keep gauge on different projects where they haven't necessarily gone to gauge or we get, we, blending two different types of bricks we may be using imperial and metric which are different sized bricks we'll look at how we can make it visually appealing to the eye thanks for watching see you in the next one